Good morning, everyone. I wanted to quickly film this video in the early morning hours here because there is a lot of quick movement happening in the, I assume, is the stratosphere section of our atmosphere. And since I've been studying space weather, I've had to learn about all these layers of atmosphere that are intermingling, but also just naturally layer up on each other. <clears throat> and I still don't know everything about it, but I was just getting a download about it I wanted to share with you because <laughs> I find sometimes the science kind of lacks a bit of soul. And so to make it a little simpler, it's an area that is an upper ocean, or perhaps the upper ethers, the upper waters, the upper ocean, is these layers of gas and atmosphere where the clouds form. But we mostly see the floor or the very bottom of it from our perspective. And over here, we're more dense in our layer of this reality, and water is densified into liquid form which we get to frolic in and enjoy and drink and whatnot, which is great. But there's a whole world of water and energy moving in this upper ocean right above our heads that sometimes becomes dense enough to share energy with us down here with like lightning and rain and wind as well. Somehow like drops low enough to gust us in the face all the way down here. But for the most part, in human life, traditionally with our ancestors, that upper ocean was always there and they couldn't really reach it unless there was a mountain, pretty much, or maybe a tree, I don't know, that could reach the upper ocean and you could get inside of it, You're, you could breathe it, you could pop your head inside, get a different perspective of the cloud movement, see it from above instead of from below. and. There are some mountains in the world where you can get above the clouds. I've done it a couple times myself. The mountain here in Flagstaff was not able to get above the clouds when I went on my birthday. And that was tough, but I got a lot closer to look at it, but it was still right above my head. I hadn't pierced the veil in a way like I wish I could have. <clears throat> Maybe on some days the the clouds do get low enough, but I don't think so. And they were spraying a lot. But on planes, we do get to go play up in this upper ocean, in these craft that we fly up above there. And that's pretty awesome, and it is such a wonderful experience. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's such a wonderful experience to go up on a plane and see the upper ocean. And, oh, there's the moon right there. It's peeking through the trees. But I just wanted to share that energy with you because um, there seems to be a lot of confusion in the storytelling about the earth and I'm just another storyteller out there and I've got my stories to tell and I think that's why some of you are here because you like the way I tell stories so I wanted to tell you that story today and sort of put those pictures into your own mind and to think about to kind of roll around in your old head because that's just what we do as beings as we walk the earth and we toil the earth together and live in heaven on earth together. We love to hear each other's stories. I know I do, so that's why I write them via videos like this. And as I'm evolving as a creator, I'm going to be more and more authentic to what I really want to create. And I really want to talk about these oceans and these layers and how they interact because I observe them all the time. That's all I do when I'm outside is I'm freaking observing these layers moving around and so on and talking to the trees and the animals and the bugs because they all want to say something. They're very, very talkative. The world is very talkative in my opinion. <clears throat> Seems like I'm always actually trying to seek some peace and there's always somebody that got to say something when I'm trying to relax no matter where. It's just magnetic. As soon as I'm getting quiet, the universe just wants to shoot something in there to create some type of vibration. It's so funny. Um, the trees are changing color here finally. It's been a bit of a rougher transition with temperatures, but we're, we're doing okay. The trees are doing all right. We're gonna make it all right. 
this beautiful sunrise is happening. Um, what else did I want to tell you? I was getting about the downloads before we go. Jace and I have been researching Mount Kailash in basically this northern border of mountains that forms between India and basically the north. It's almost as if India just got welded to that landmass a few years ago and it created these mountain ranges which are super sacred and I want to go to super bad. They've got many names, I'm sure. But from Google Earth, it's pretty funny to look at how it's just welded on there. And they mentioned things about temperatures that were reached to make, perhaps form the way that the mountains have formed, which is almost like a molten surface, like it's like glass. And then there's just pebbles. It's not gravelly, There's it's very strange. It's like it all just got cooked. So it's basically this like technology thing and super cool but Thunder Mountain looks a lot like Mount, Mount Kailash in a way and that's here in Sedona we were just thinking about that and going to the mountain and mountain peaks uh, near Flagstaff which are super sacred uh, was a super sacred spot because of the volcano which has imploded on itself and now has made these peaks they call them the Kachina peaks tallest one is called Humphreys Peak now. Humphreys is like whoever runs Flagstaff, whatever colonizer was last to kind of make their mark on Flagstaff and on the mountain peaks or whatever on that property, that territory. You know, those things change over the years, but right now it's whatever his name, Humphreys. I didn't look him up yet, but <laughs> I bet you I know what Humphreys looked like a little bit and that's just history that's just what we're witnessing here as the like children of the colonizers and the children of the colonized in this round of earth and things are changing again but yeah the upper ocean is moving a lot today um the air is moving and what i was thinking that's what it was thank you thank you was all of this conspiracy stuff about the floods happening on the land you know People are tricky with words, and if there is an upper ocean and this is flooding over our lands right now, it's not hurting us, it's not causing us any pain because it's a different type of ocean, it's a gaseous ocean. But it's still, you know, if that gaseous ocean, like somehow, I don't even know how that would happen, like I'm not smart enough yet, I feel like, but somehow get pressed down to us, it would like flood us in a way for sure, in a, with a lot of water and whatever, wind, electricity, like all the all the stuff I bet. And the military knows this area and above this and around that area is like the electrical layer. And that's the area that I look into too. Cause it gets all charged up from the sun and it gets all charged up from harp and all this crazy stuff I'm trying to understand from just like reading Wikipedia and what's available on the internet in 20, 20 in the 2020s. like based off of this information war and whatever they're molding our thoughts to be to try and keep I think earth peaceful as possible so we can just chill and not let the bad guys like stir us up too much from having a heaven on earth experience because of all their naughty little things that they did and we all find out when we're supposed to and I'm finding out more stuff now. Like I'm over that stuff. I learned it, I'm like, yeah, corruption, yeah. And I made my life different so I didn't feed that system nearly as badly. And my soul was free to like be a sovereign being again that I was born to be. Cause I just, we just have our rights. Just, we just do. And uh, yeah, now I'm observing and relearning the words and the stories of our earth and our land and our sky and because that's where all of the confusion is seeming to be and we need to like really get a, a handle on what the earth and the sky and the sun are, are and what they're actually doing and where what shape they are. You guys have to watch this um, show called Inside Job they released. It's like a animated show about the running the shadow government or whatever. It's hilarious and like every single scene is just packed with information and it's very validating but it's validating in a way where you're like oh they're like telling me through this show that they're releasing instead of you know prime time news and perhaps that'll be 
it is happening. I don't freaking watch the primetime news, so I don't get it there. I watch these shows, so that's where I got the information that they're releasing this now. So it's like they're moving on. We're all moving on from these conspiracies. If you watch this show, it's like, yeah, there's a shadow government. Yeah, there's this shadowy people that inform the shadow government and blah, 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 blah. And they just go all into it and make it very basic and cute and funny in a way, but also serious. And, you know, there's an edge to it, but nothing too like chaotically evil either. It's, it's not chaotically evil, which is somehow managed by the creator which is fascinating so good on these people making this piece of art to kind of validate a lot of things that i've just been stowing away in my mind as i truck along in life and watch the upper river move and the upper floods potentially flood in because this direction it's like flooding in from the ocean in california it's coming in that direction oh there goes a bird validator yeah so for some reason the energy is coming in from the ocean maybe maybe and there's another huge wall of mountains that is in between us and california but this is plenty high enough to get over those walls because there's no mountains here that are piercing the the heavens like i cannot climb up to the top of a mountain or ride a gondola to the top of a mountain that pops up above the, the clouds so I can stand there instead of needing to buy a friggin' plane ticket, which is getting more complicated lately, but now less complicated, less complicated. I'm praying that all that traveling and stuff is gonna find its logical, manageable um, coherence and organization again, so we can all freely travel for very reduced costs with higher technology. It's all organized and ready, the system's there. Like, let's just use it and make it work for us. And, pop over the heavens and fly to Paris in two hours instead of like 18 or whatever the hell it takes. It's stupid. So we're going to go there much faster and we're going to have a much better decade and, and, and century here. We're having a great time. We just had like a two year long detox. I was telling Jason, him and I try and push each other to make videos all the time and record what we talk about because all we do is talk all day about this stuff. And record videos about it basically and talk to you guys about it in in our messaging apps all day like we're just messaging people all day philosophizing and talking about all these things and figuring ourselves out emotionally too because we get triggered from all these occurrences but we really were on a detox and we were with our friends during the detox and now we're doing doing a retreat to really dig into the detox and just totally like purposefully replenish after our detox situation wow i'm shaking so much i'm getting cold so yeah retreat it's freaking leet gonna have so much fun and I'm gonna watch the upper ocean from over there like I always do and probably yammer more about it so this is just what I do I just sit here and yammer about things at random times that I think are happening in nature and then people maybe sometimes message me and they're like yeah I think that and then I'm like okay cool I guess we're not all by ourselves but I think I'm just the crazy old shaman that likes to sit on tops of mountains and just talk about random my random reasonings for what nature is doing like i'm sorry can't help it i guess it's just who i am but you know say lovey that's what it is i'm happy doing it mermaiding over here oh what a good day happy day everybody thanks for uh thanks for all the fish i'll see you later